You're still watching TVC Breakfast. It's time to take a look at the stories making headlines on the papers this morning. And I have with me in the studio Dr. Juan John, leadership and communication strategist. Dr. Juan, good morning. Good morning, Mike. It's nice to see you. It's good to be here. And Shesan Kwade is one of our analysts this morning as well. Shesan, good morning. Good morning, It's nice Mike. to see you as well. It's a pleasure. Great. Now, let's begin with the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. It says, as Nigeria decides tomorrow, Lagos... Kano, Kaduna, Katsina, Rivers lead in voter numbers. Exercise your democratic rights, Buhari tells Nigerians. That's on the Daily Trust. Moving there to the Punch newspaper, it says 72,775,502 PVCs collected. Buhari says, let's have faith in INEC. INEC chair Yakubu rejects resignation call and vote out incumbent like in 2015. Uh, it's all right, one of the candidates saying there. All right, if we move from the punch newspaper to the Vanguard polls, uh, federal government shuts borders at noon today. Police deploy all its 350,000 officers and men and assets, an army to deploy GOCs, brigade commanders, special task forces, and immigration waivers, visa, or waves, immigration rather, waves visas for accredited, accredited election observers and monitors. And we won't interfere in Nigeria's internal affairs. Chinese government is saying that. If we move from the vanguard now to the last paper this morning, it's uh, this day. This day is our last paper this morning. Uh, it says uh, with 72.7 million PVCs in their hands, Nigerians decide the fate of uh, the candidates tomorrow. And you see there, right there on the, uh, on the screen, President uh, says, uh, all right. Now, uh, it has multiple riders there. Now, let's move to <coughs> the, uh, I think, what's, Dr. One story that will interest you here is on the page, is on page three, uh, which says the volume of foreign currencies in circulation alarming. The president is raising alarm. Yeah. Now, a day to, about two days to uh, the election, because this, this statement came in yesterday. Yes. Um, I, I, I uh, was he, you, or I was talking uh, to the other time when I said this, um, uh, a kind of money called political money. Mm. And it is actually to um, induce the people to vote for a particular party. Unfortunately, our BVN has not been able to cure our greed because people do no longer uh, uh, save or store their money mm. in the bank, having realized that no matter what you do, you, you, it's like stealing meat from the okra. So, so from this now, it means, it means that the, the vote buying is still very much it's in place. It's still very much in place. And that's what majority of politicians are actually rely on. And I gave an example that if the president had ordered um, for a shoot aside at everyone who goes to the polling booth to buy vote mm. then by sunday or monday we will have cleared all the problems of nigeria because majority of people in pdp and apc will have been shot dead uh, Shesan, how, how what concerns do you have about this especially when it comes to foreign currency in circulation you see most of the time it marvels me when we decide to spend foreign currency and dominate our own uh, uh, currency i don't know this is nigeria and our currency is uh, naira but in this kind of a situation, you discover that what prevails most is dollar. I don't know how a market person will go about to share. But because we have actually devalued our currency, and what everybody is saying is, is dollar. You can imagine if you give somebody like five, $5 for this election, you know what he's saying. But when We're giving five naira. What is the value? You yeah, can't but, but when Nigeria is, is looking for foreign currencies all over the place, isn't this a good one for the economy if you have, <laughs> if you see from another window? I think um, when, when we are talking about foreign currency, there was a big man that came out the other time and said he, he has the power to actually fix the Naira dollar problem. Mm. What we are talking about is that most of these foreign currencies we are talking about are in the hands of the wrong people. And that does not mean they are going who to Who are go. the wrong people? The wrong people are those people who have stolen from our treasury. Right. And that does not mean that on Saturday that they are going to go to the police center and start distributing dollars. No. What it means is that it, it aids mobility of money from one place to the other. And that's exactly what they, okay. they are trying to do. So there's one story here on the say on the uh, page two of the punch. INEC chair rejects resignation call. I, I wonder the people are calling for the resignation of INEC chairman at this critical time because the election was postponed. What do you what's yeah, your take? Fr from my own point of view, I feel you don't use to, you don't take sledgehammer to just hammer something. 
this man has actually come out to apologize to the people and not at this point in time are we going to ask him to resign. Mm -hmm. Let him go ahead, conclude what he is asked to do and uh, let's see it. The president has actually come out to say there are questions to be answered after the election. And for me, you don't just pull out someone who has been preparing, who has been putting some things in place, and overnight, who, who, is, who definitely do you want uh, all to right. put uh, in to take up his shoe? All right. I think Chair still has a lot of assignments ahead of him. He still has a lot of assignments. But the, the manner at which the election was postponed was where majority of people had issues. Okay. You are not going to wake up one certain morning or evening and say the election that is made to hold tomorrow is no longer Just holding. about five, let six me, hours cite, to election. Let me cite an example. We My elder brother was in Adoikiti on Wednesday, he traveled back to Port Harcourt on Thursday and traveled back to Ondo State on Friday because of election. What you have been able to do is that you have prevented him from voting because I was asking there are the lots, other time there are whether lots, I will, will come back. Uh, yeah, there, there are, are lots of consequences know, from the postponement, but we have gone yeah. past that now. Yeah. So let's, let's leave that now. Shesong Kumade, thank you very much for coming. And Dr. Mojong, thank you as well. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah.